Hey everybody, it's Margaret, Texas Gal Treasures, and welcome to my channel. Um, a lot of my videos are to do with making money online, but we've just moved. So <laughs> this is sort of what's consuming right now, the, the life. So I did a video yesterday walking through um, the new house. And I, I, this is, you know, Sunday is my my weekend review, and this this is sort of an all-consuming thing right now. This is the house. So I know I mentioned yesterday some of the, I don't know how else to put it, but bratty stuff the seller did. I mean, we've had a ton of trouble with the sellers um, from taking the light fixtures to not, I mean, when we, backing it up, when we got the house inspected, the there weren't smoke working smoke detectors in all the rooms and stuff so when we went back and said okay you know could you go back and forth with the negotiation We're like well we need to make sure we have working smoke detectors we need to make sure um there were three main things the light the light fixtures they took the light fixtures and they had to bring them back and then um there was like a hose outside that was stripped or like it was put on crooked none of us could get it off i couldn't my realtor her husband the guy that inspected the house i mean it seems like okay not a big deal right there were other things that were broken the garbage disposal the sink the faucet i mean there was just stuff that was just like broken one of the sprinkler heads but they were they were determined they weren't fixing any of that the 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 only things they were going to do were the smoke detectors because they had to and the light fixtures because they took the light fixtures you know um so the day we went to do the walkthrough and there is more that happened so that's why i'm like it just was building up and building up and building up you know i do love the house though so once we get everything fixed once we finish finish figuring out what they've done because turns out there's some things that they might have sabotaged after we walked through um, because there are things that are broken that weren't broken before. So, but I'll get there. Um, so, um, we came to do our final walkthrough before the closing and the lights still weren't up and the, one of the smoke detectors still wasn't fixed and the, the hose thing was still stuck on there. And the guy was like, no, I took it off and put it back on. I'm just leaving it for you. I'm like, no, you didn't. You know, so finally they, they had to get the whole, it was so bad that they, they couldn't get it off. They had to like cut it and re-affix a new faucet outside. So they got a whole new faucet because they couldn't they couldn't get it off either. Okay, whatever. Um and then you know we, we kept taking video footage that the smoke detectors weren't working. You know, like look, we're poking it, we're poking it, it's not working, it's not working. You know, and he was like, I don't know, I put them in, they're not working, they're already working. So we finally, they finally got the light, the fixtures back in. They finally got all of this stuff. Um, and then we did the walkthrough again. Then the doorbell wasn't working. I mean, it was just like one thing after another. And the electrician, I guess, was a buddy of the owners because he, you know, my realtor talked to him when she was over here and he said something like, oh, you know, the homeowner's super mad about having to do all this stuff, whatever. Anyway, so... And I, t and I don't know if I told you about the, the big scratches along the front door. They, were, they, they, they just refused to fix them. Whenever they got their furniture moved out, the movers, I guess, scratched up part of the floor, scratched up the, the, the front of the, fr the door, like, and, and when we were like, what? We have photographs that this is not how it was. Like, what? anyway, they were like, no, too bad, so sad. We're not fixing it, right? Yeah, so there's that. I mean, and then like the the blind thingies. I think I mentioned that. Like, you know, the like wand thing where you close the blind. Like at first they took some of those, um, and wouldn't. And they were like, no, no, they were always gone. And my realtor showed like, no, look, um, in the pictures that you posted, like you're you're showing pictures. They're there. You know, it's not our imagination. And so, and again, I, totally not a huge deal. Like, I know I can go buy them, but it's just these little things. Like, even if somebody else took it, it's like they could say, oh, darn, man, I guess, you know, somebody showing the house took them. And that really, uh. But it, they, their whole behavior the whole time was like, you're, you're making a big deal out of this, or it was never there, just defensive and nasty and bratty the whole time. Okay, well. I did the walkthrough yesterday. You know, we, we got the house and we finally got, they, 
I think I told you about the keys, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. We couldn't even get the keys. There was only there was one key that we were able to get because the guy didn't turn the keys in after the house closed. And actually the title company told my realtor that she could call the police because he was withholding the keys after the, the closing and everything, he would not bring the keys over. Hey, everybody in the chat, <laughs> just like, I am like, I, if I don't get this out, I obviously look at me, I'm like, oh. Um, so um, he waited until 5.15. I thought, I thought it was, you know, he waited till right till close. No, my realtor came back and said, no, she, she talked to the title company and he waited until, everybody there had to wait for the keys. They couldn't leave to go home. So they had to all wait for him to bring the keys. And they said that he walked in and he was so smug and he was really like, ha ha ha, now she can't have the keys till Monday. She can't get into the house. Like he did it on purpose knowing that the title company was closed over the weekend. Um, but they were able to get one of the keys to us so that we could get the locks changed. And, um, because I didn't feel comfortable <laughs> staying here, especially with all this behavior. Well, when we went to our, when we did our final walkthrough, I may have mentioned this before, but I'm leading up to something else. I when when the little wands were missing and the doorbell wasn't broken, and now there's scratches on the front door. And he's a professor, y'all. So you're asking what age range? He he or his wife, one of them was a professor at the university here. And I'm not going to give too many details in case you're able to dig up who it is but transferred or got a job in, at um, New York, NYU. So now is going to be a professor at in New York, NYU. So it's a grown, educated man, right? Um, so <laughs> the, the day we did the, you know, the walkthrough when all the scratches and all the stuff was going, yeah, nutty professors for sure. I was like, okay, I'd heard stories of vindictive people doing stuff to the toilets and to the sinks and to all this stuff. So I went around the day when we were walking through when the scratches and all that, and I flushed all the toilets because we'd already, you know, I was just like, okay, maybe they took the stopper out of the toilet just to be annoying or something. So all the toilets flushed, you know, I walked through the house, made sure like, okay, just any other little nitpicky thing that might've happened there or that somebody, the house was already inspected. So everything was already in working order. So after we were able to move in, the toilet downstairs is now broken. Totally like you can't flush it. Randy had to turn the water off. I think I mentioned this yesterday. He, or maybe not, I don't know. He had to turn the water off of it because the pipe going into the wall, somebody has like jimmied with it and it's like loose in the wall. Like, if the water is on back there, it could flood out into the into the walls. Um, so there's that. We have a plumber coming tomorrow, um, and then the it, it rained yesterday. <laughs> it, it rained yesterday, and guess what? Leak. Not on the roof, second floor, but on the first floor. There's a vent that looks like it looks like an AC cover, where there's like a filter in there. But when you open it up, it's not. There's a leak coming down a pipe from the roof and leaks down onto the, the dining room floor. So we just, I kept hearing this thump, 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 thump. And I was like, what is that? So I went and looked and like the water was hitting that filter, thump, 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 thump. And so I was like, oh gosh, Randy, something's leaking. This is not right. You know, and it was pouring down rain outside. And so, um, we had to run some errands, but Randy just happened to have to run back into the house. And he's like, Margaret, it is leaking onto the floor now. So we had to get a towel and a bucket and we took video footage. Um, and then when he was like, Margaret, when I was up there, well, we, we didn't have a ladder. So we went and got a ladder. Randy climbed up the ladder and opened the vent thing. And there's, it's not going to an AC unit. It's pipes up there. So and he went up there and he started touching around and he's like, Margaret, the, the she rock is all damp and there's like water up there. And this thing, the, the thing is rusted up on top. So it's been there. It's like, didn't just rest in like a couple days. Right. So it's been rested. Like, and he was like, Margaret, I was wondering, cause in the garage, there's like four or five things of sheetrock. 
And then there's like one of the pieces of sheetrock has like a big rectangular cut out of it. And there is ceiling paint out there. There is like trim. There's all this stuff out there. So he's like, what if this is something that they knew was wrong and just like tried to cover it up and, you know, try to cover it up and not disclose it, right? So um, the my realtor, her husband's a contractor, so he just came out this afternoon. Um, oh my gosh, you guys. So he was looking at it and he's got the, um, the, the plumber's coming out tomorrow and then the inspector is furious because the inspector, inspect, he was so meticulous the inspector was was down to like there's a dent in this doorknob meticulous he did everything he looked at everything and so um so he's coming back tomorrow and he's gonna like climb all over this house because my thing is like what if if this guy did jack with this stuff and mess it up what else did did he mess with that it just hasn't like that that leak wouldn't have shown up if it hadn't started raining right it wouldn't have happened until because and that's what i was telling them it's it, it happened because of the rain. At first I thought, well, you know, H, if he messed with the HVAC system, like the overflow tray, if you clog that up, it could start leaking down, you know. I know, it's a nightmare. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. My So my realtor is talking um, to somebody to find out about a real estate attorney. Um, no, it's not a foreclosed property. It's not. So, and I did, I called that we, we had to get a home warranty when we did our, all of our escrow stuff. So I've already called the home warranty people. Oh, this is another thing. The dish, we already knew that the, the disposal wasn't working. That didn't pass inspection. We already knew that the faucet, like the sink faucet, it's like stuck, like, and you can't move it. Right. And there's two sinks, but it's like stuck. So we had to get a new sink faucet yesterday. Then I was like, you know what? I went around the whole house and I turned on all the sinks and all the bathtubs and let them run and was checking the pipes and I turned on the dishwasher. This was at 10 in the morning, y'all. So at 10 in the morning, turned on the dishwasher. At three o'clock, that dishwasher was still running. It never finished the cycle. It never stopped. It never anything. So, um, so we've got, we, we called the home warranty. So they're going to come out and look at the dishwasher we've got an hvac guy coming to look at maybe that air conditioning system i don't know what the leak is for sure yet even though it's only it rained again today while we were out and we came back and sure enough there was there's water in our bucket you know some more so that is what's happening <laughs> right now um and it really if i was you know i obviously like i was a mess earlier just crying because my sister, you know, just had her hip replacement surgery. I was supposed to leave today to go to my sister's and help take care of her because we were going to, you know, close up on the house and I was going to go. We were going to deal with like moving and all this other stuff when we got back. But with all of these problems, I can't leave the house with a big leak in the ceiling. You know, I can't leave with the pipes maybe about to bust out of the wall in the, you know, downstairs bathroom. So um, we got the the um, HVAC guy and the dishwasher guy coming Thursday. And that was another thing. So my dad switched with me. My dad's going out today. And then I was going to go Wednesday to take care of my sister. And now I'm like, I can't go Wednesday. You know, so I'm, I called her earlier just like in tears. And like, I don't know what to do. I can't come. Like, I can't leave the house like this if it's all like a big nightmare. So we're just waiting. I'm waiting to get um, confirmation from the inspector because he was very meticulous. Like I said, he took pictures of everything. He took notes on everything. So he's going to go climb across this house with the fine tooth comb. And we're going to compare notes and he'll be able to tell if somebody messed with stuff and the plumber will be able to tell if somebody messed with that pipe and, um, and then we'll go from there. And it's just been, and that's the thing too. Like my realtor was like, if this close, like if this sale had gone so smoothly and he had, um, not given any trouble or been, you know, a brat about stuff and then, and then just random stuff happened. Um, 
it would have been like, oh man, I can't believe we missed that, right? But she's like, with every other thing this guy has done along the way, um, she's like, I, I'm sad to say I wouldn't put it past him. Um, yeah, Yolanda, I, exactly. So we'll, we'll just see. Um, and it's this is what I was telling my mom, like, okay, so my home warranty should cover some of this stuff crossing my fingers, right? Um, but it's, and, and my dad was livid, like, call the police now. I'm like, I need to make sure I've got my ducks in a row. Before. And, and if there's anything else wrong, like, what else do we need to do? And I want to make sure I have it all in the right order. I don't want it to come to that. Because two, like, who wants to hire an attorney? <laughs> Not me, right? So, but if if they do come back, if the inspector does come back and they all come back and say, no, this wasn't like this when I inspected it. This, you can see. Um, oh, yeah, I haven't checked all the, uh, that's a good point. Susan says, check the uh, all the sockets and the outlets because he has this electrician friend. Yeah. So I keep having to tell myself, um, it's going to be okay. We're going to get this all fixed. Whatever it is, it's going to get fixed. Um, my, my biggest fear, that this is the reason I want to get the inspector back out, is that, you know, i got two little boys in the house. And if the guy messed with the electrical or messed with something else that could cause a house fire or something crazy like that, you know, I don't. I want to make sure that everything is squared away before, like, I go to help my sister. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, so if they do, <clears throat> pardon me, um, if they do find that there was something that was done that was... Um, shady or you know suspicious or that they sabotage something then um yeah no they didn't disclose it yeah we absolutely checked the disclosure forms yeah it's a, so it would be a fraud if it turns out that they covered it up if they did the patch job in the roof with the sheetrock and because yeah in the in the garage there's the sheetrock there's the ceiling i'm like did they are they really this dumb like they left the like evidence behind that I mean I don't know I need to check the paint cans and see if they're dated or something like that you know and see yeah anyway so that's what's been going on here <laughs> um, we yeah we I'm, I'm trying to still get settled you know we went to Ikea we were we went and got some stuff to get our home homeschool room set up we're gonna get the pods delivered I'm, I'm just like I told Randy I gotta get well, I have to get settled I've been so we've been so out of whack for so long I just can't anymore. So even, yeah, yeah, hopefully nothing electrical. So they, they're going to find out tomorrow. You know, I've got the plumber, the the plumber, the inspector, and my real estate agent, her husband is a contractor. So they're all three going to be back over here tomorrow just picking this house apart, basically, seeing what is what and where, you know, everything. Um, yeah. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. I did that earlier yesterday too. We were we were after the leak thing, and we put the bucket down. I was like, we we have to go to the movies. I can't. My body was just like, my stress is up there. I can't do the stress anymore. And so I was like, we got to go get my mind off this. So we went to the movies. Anyway. Uh, yeah, yeah, that, that was the whole thing with the electrician. This this was, apparently was one of the things that, that the owner was mad about because when they took the lights out, we had already had the house inspected. And then they moved out the furniture and they moved out these light fixtures that they had downstairs. And that was not okay because then they messed with the electrical after the um, inspection. So they had the guys that took like the mover guys that took the furniture out they had them put some of them back in but like when i went in one of them was crooked and one of them like this was when we were doing our walkthrough one of them was still on the floor wasn't put in one of them was put in crooked one of them was like it, it they were it would look like i had them it was like that bad and i was like an electrician did this and so she called him from their realtor and found out no 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 they had the the moving company people come put them back in. I'm like, that's not going to fly. So what are they going to, like, I need, because then I would have to get, have to get the house reinspected. Because it's like me putting them up there. I don't know if this guy knows what he's doing, you know? Um, yeah. So then they had to, so this guy was mad, because then he had to get an actual electrician to come out and actually do it and put them back in right and sign off on it. Yeah. So, 
so that's what's been that's what's been happening. So hopefully, um, tattoo places to get right away, and that and that's the thing too. Like we, so we're gonna go get the fridge. We need a fridge, okay? But we didn't have the washer dryer. We were planning on going back to Houston and get our washer and dryer from because our tenants ended up getting their own and putting ours in storage. Well, we were planning on in a couple weeks going back home and getting them. But I told Randy, um, let's leave those there. And then if our, you know, if our tenants move out, we've got washer dryer for the rental. But I said, let's go buy just an inexpensive washer dryer because I need to see if it's working. I need to see if there's something else messed up. Um, and I can't wait two or three weeks to find out there's something else wrong. I need to like get this taken care of now. So it's just like cha-ching, 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 cha-ching. Like the bills keep adding up. But um, have you ever seen the movie Money Pit? <laughs> but but the the house, other than the, the these issues, the house is gonna be great when it's all done. It's just the drama that is happening right now. So yeah. <laughs> but you know, with all of this going on, I'm trying to compartmentalize. I'm trying to have like house drama over here and we're still moving in and getting stuff done over here. So I'm like, we're still coming in. We're still getting schoolroom set up. We're still going to get the kitchen set up. We're going to still, you know, get my workroom. We're like we're, we're going to be continue going over here because I've got to have some stability and then house insanity over here. Um, so um, yeah, so that, how much is it going to cost? How much? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I don't know. That's the question. So we'll see. But it has to be done. That's the thing. It has to, like, I can't, I don't know. I can't wait to go, you know, two or three, four weeks until we can get back to Houston, get the washer dryer. Because originally we were like, well, we have the apartment, you know, until the end of the month. We can just go do the laundry over there. That was the plan. Like, oh, I'll just take the laundry over there and do it. No big deal, right? Um, but now I'm like, uh, I, I can't do that. I mean, I'm not going to go buy like fancy schmancy washer dryers, but um, there's so much for sister. I can't start over. Sorry. Um, house dramas. House dramas. So yeah, we're gonna. It's gonna be okay. And on a funnier, scary note, funny, scary, can it be funny and scary? So we brought the cats over last night. And you know my big worry about that big drop off, you know? Well, Pancake decided he was just going to get that fear out of out of the way immediately. <laughs> so the, they, the cats were really, because they've never lived in a two-story house before. So they were like really staying downstairs. And so I told Ran, I want to make sure the cats at least see this drop off so they don't jump on that ledge and just go flying over it thinking it's just like a flat surface. So um, Pancake jumps up there and he goes over to above the door, which is a good, I don't know, 10, 12 feet maybe off the ground. And he gets up there and I'm like, Randy, what are you going to do? He's stuck up there. And then he just like, off of it onto the, the hard tile, boom, and he got hiccups. Have you ever seen a cat get hiccups before? <laughs> Pancake got hiccups. So yeah, he, he did. So after that, because I was like, ah, you know, freaking out. And um, so I took all the other cats individually up there and sat them on the thing and let, made them look off and showed them like, don't jump up here and don't so none, none of the other ones have gone over to the other ledge that there's no, it's like the point of no return. I don't know if I, I'll show you a picture of it. Um, so you can visualize what I'm talking about. Hang on. Uh, where did it go? Yeah. So, okay. Where did it go? I took pictures of it. Cause I showed the vet even. We took Mimi to the vet the other day and I was like, what do you think I should do? She's like, their cats are smart. They're not going to mess with something they can't handle. And what did Pancake do? He messed with it. I know I took pictures of it. Hang on. I got to show you. Yeah, well, I don't think he's going to do that again. I agree. He learned He learned pretty quickly. We, and we had that little ladder because we'd gone to buy just like a little ladder so we could go look up in the thing. But it was the, even the little three-step ladder. We could reach the ceiling in the kitchen area to check, right? But it was so high that the three-step ladder, I still couldn't reach him. 
<laughs> Still could not reach him. Darn it. I was going to show you what it looked like because I definitely took pictures of it to show the, the vet. Aha, uh -huh, here it is. Okay, so that's the drop down. You can see the drop. But then the ledge, so like that is the ledge, and he jumped over there. And there's no jumping back up because this is like three and a half feet right there. And then from here, it's all the way down to the, the hard tile down there. <laughs> so, yep, they only fall once. <laughs> says, okay, yeah, whoo. Um, so, hey, Nick, hey, Andrea, hi, guys. Uh, just house drama. I can't start over, but it's been been nuts. Oh, thanks on the nails, yeah. So, um, the sellers paid for, oh, I I don't think my sellers are going to pay for anything. They have been, um, what's the word? <laughs> they have been very close. You know, they don't want to give any. Like, there's no middle ground with them. It was just like, you want the house, you take it or leave it kind of deal. And we really wanted it. Like we went, I had gone to see so many houses and this was the only one that I was like, this seems like the best fit for us. For sure. Accessorize the ledge. Yeah. That's why I may have to do that. Um, stingy. And that's the thing. Like I get like needing to like be careful with your money and everything, but it's like, you want to, I would think, maybe it's just because the way I am, I, you know, you want everybody to have good feelings about the whole situation. It's a win-win for everybody. Like you give some, I give some, you know, and then you go back and forth and you make it where it's like, okay, it's livable for everybody. Mm -mm, not a bit, not a bit of it. So, but once, like I say, once this all gets settled out, it, it's going to be good. We went and got, um, some desks and things for the boys for the homeschool room. And then, yeah, anyway. So I should know later if this goes further or if it just, if we just take care of it and the home warranty takes care of it and the, I don't know. I'm trying to decide, just, I don't know. I just have this image of the what the title company lady said about him walking in so smug, like, ha, ha, ha. She's not going to have the house now till Monday. She won't get the keys. Um, but apparently, yes, Cindy, apparently this guy has been nasty to everybody. I mean, they they were nasty to the, I mean, it just, everybody that I've, my realtor has talked to that has interacted with the guy, the owner has, has just been like, he is not a nice person to work with at all. So he's gone. <laughs> and that's what she said. She was like, at least he's, he's moving to New York. And it's not like he's moving across town where he could still come back and do vindictive things if that's the kind of person he is. So anyway, there's that. Okay. My kids were finishing up their video game time. Um, they had to put together some Ikea furniture <laughs> for their lesson today. And um, so, yeah, that's we're going to be working on more Ikea, for, Ikea, Ikea furniture. Ikea furniture. And then, um, yeah. I know, right, Susan? Imagine what he must be like as an educator. I know, right? Like, I need mean, to look him up and see what he teaches. Is that bad? Is that weird? I probably won't. Um, yeah, right? Could you imagine having him as your professor? Sage the house, right? I need to do something. Mm -mm, so bad. But it is nice. It, and like, once we get all this stuff squared away, it's going to be really nice. So this is my workroom. This will be my workroom. So I thought I'd come up here and see it. I need a jewelry fix. I know, right? I don't have my, my new earrings that I just got. So I may have to sell those new earrings that I that I got out of the, uh, that estate sale to cover some of the stuff. So yeah, but that's okay. That's that's what they're there for, right? <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to go and buy a refrigerator and price out some washer dryers. That's a good idea with renting to own. Maybe try to rent a center for a couple weeks for the appliances for the renter, the washer dryer. Because we were not planning on buying a washer dryer. And hopefully, if the dishwasher is busted, the home warranty will cover it. But tonight, I am going to go buy something to test out the, the stove and the oven. Because we haven't done anything with the stove, the oven, and the microwave yet. So I need to go get a bag of microwave popcorn 
and I don't know, some like cookies <laughs> to put in the oven to try. I don't know. Do you think do you think cookie dough smell will work the same as sage? <laughs> if I have the yummy chocolate chip cookie dough smell, <laughs> go buy some more. And that's the thing too, like I I don't really I have I haven't been drinking very much at all. And the last like two or three nights I've had some beer because of the stress. And I'm like, I that is a slippery slope that I don't want to keep doing, you know, because it is a slippery slope. So because it's an easy fix, like, okay, I'll, I can relax for a couple minutes if I have a beer or two. And I don't want to keep doing that. So, <sighs> yeah, so cookie dough and something for the microwave and the stove top. Yeah, and that's what we're going to do. Okay, thanks for listening, you guys. I just was like, I have got to, to, to share and get it off my chest. Go over there and give it a thumbs up to show those people. What good karma looks like. And the thumbs down people, well, you can go hang out with, with Mr. What's His Face in New York. That's what I think about that. Okay. <laughs> All right. Um, have a great rest of your Sunday, you guys. Chocolate heals everything. Have I had any chocolate today? No, I haven't. I haven't. You're right. I need to go have chocolate. The kids are great. The kids are fine. They're loving the they're they're loving being out of the apartment. We honestly, we were gonna spend the night at the apartment last night. We hadn't moved the beds over or anything. After the movie got out, it was almost 9 o'clock when the movie let out, which is late for us. And the kids and Randy were so determined that they did not want to spend another night in the apartment that we went at 10, basically 9, 9.30. We, we went and got the cats. We got the beds. We got all oh, mattresses. I'm not all beds. <laughs> mattresses and a couple other things. And we brought them back over here. So it was almost midnight before we went to sleep. But they were like, I don't care. I don't I don't want to be, they wanted to not be at the apartment anymore, so. Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Go, it's not, oh dear, we better hurry because I think they close at six. Do they close at six? It's Sunday. Okay, all right, I'm off. Thanks you guys for coming to hang out and listen to my woe, my, my real estate woes. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys later. Yeah, we still don't have the, uh, the clicker. We need to get the garage door openers reprogrammed, but the uh, the the their real estate agent went on vacation and he has the stuff that we need. So what? Anyway, yeah, okay. The thumbs downers are dedicated. Every video, I think they do. I think they just pop it. Oh look, I got another one. Okay, that's cool. You know where you can go. If you're probably already there, New York City with my, my professor. Sorry if you're from New York and you're an awesome person. <laughs> I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.